problem solving, a key component of mathematics. This video will address a method for solving word problems that we will use in our class. Do these pictures describe your feelings about word problems? Frustrated? Aggravated? There is relief. My goal is to teach you how to be a confident problem solver. We will use a four-part method. Question, clarify, strategize and solve, check. Q, C, S, S, C, Q, C, S, S, C. Catchy, huh? Begin by looking at an example titled trapezoid. So here you can see a listing of facts. Well, the first step in solving a word problem would be to identify the question. So the question in this problem is, what are the lengths of these other two sides? So let us go to our organizer. And as you can see, I have typed in what are the lengths of the other two sides in the question box. Now, the second step is to clarify what is the given information. Well, looking at our problem, we notice that we're given three big facts. The first fact is the perimeter is 90. The second fact is that the parallel bases are 24 and 38. And last of all, we know that the lengths of the other two sides are consecutive odd integers. Well, great. We'll record that into our problem-solving graphic organizer. So now we've gotten the question, we've clarified the facts. Let's pick a strategy and then write an equation. For this problem, I think that I would draw a diagram to help me to write an equation for this problem. So you can notice I have a trapezoid here, and I've labeled the opposite parallel sides as 24 and 38, and I've identified the first length of the unknown side as x, and since they're consecutive, consecutive integers are 2 apart, so the second side would be x plus 2. Great, we have our strategy now. Let's write an equation and solve it. Well, perimeter indicates the sum of all four sides. So here we have an equation where we add up 24 plus 38 plus x plus x plus 2 equals 90. So this is an equation that represents the problem. And you can see the mathematics that I used in solving this problem. So we've gotten the question, clarified the facts, picked a strategy, and solved it. Last of all, let's check our results. So the units should be in centimeters. And then last of all, is the answer correct? Is 13 plus 15 plus 24 plus 38, does it equal 90? Yes, it does. So then our final concluding sentence would be, the lengths of the two sides are 13 and 15 centimeters.